Welcome back, my melodies. Today we're going to be opening up a Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer box, more specifically the um, Coridon uh, box, the uh, the Scarlet of the pairing. Um, but first, let's figure out the categories that we're going to compare the pack battle or compare the packs to. So we are going for slot number three, and we are doing category number three. So uh, Pokedex number. Slot number three, and we are looking for the lower Pokedex number. Oh, I'll turn that over, there we go. So we're looking for the lowest Pokedex number in the slot number three. Let's open this up. So as always with ETBs, you get a nice little booklet. The booklet of course has all the fun new information and the entire um, card set. I'm actually very excited the change that they made where they talked about the promos that come out with the set. So this will even help other collectors that want to be, a, you know, very much 100% complete. Um, so always a good resource. And then I always like to take a look at the, uh, at the sleeve that it comes in. So if I can not rip this too bad, and, uh, that can, that's like, that's like a sticky that can come off later, but this is a poster. So you can see all the different characters, Coridon, Maridon, the starters, and then Gyarados, if I can do that there. Take a look at that. So, always get a poster. Never throw those away or throw them away, but you know, we keep one for a poster, right? Okay, let's open up the box. Of course, these boxes are quite useful for storing stuff. You get a little insert. Um, if you do any crafts or anything, there's usually a fun pattern on these, but I already have one or two of them. So I'm gonna put those in the trash over there. And then we get sleeves. So you get to see there's a pack of sleeves. These are, um, I usually save these to go to uh, building battles, like um, one of my videos that I just posted talking about the building battle experience. Go for a link there. We you get a code card for the ETB set. Um, so that will give you access to this promo on TCG Live. And every pack or every ETB now comes with a promo. So if you were to order from the Pokemon Center, you'd get a special little stamp one. But this artwork is certainly always good and always appreciated. So we'll put that one up there and then typically you get um, dividers they were jumping out at me so there's red and then there's gold on the back so a little divider set you get a brick of energy we have the new energy with the silver borders to match the new silver bordered um, cards here are the etb you get a fun little set and i believe the uh if you can see it in there the one-sided die or the one sided of it says uh lowercase ex and then they've updated the poison and fire counters and they come in a nice little plastic thing now i like that a lot so let's put those over there let's put this here and then i actually like to turn this upside this right side up so i actually like to uh, turn this right side up so i can put the cards in there. I will usually put um, dividers and I'll save one for the other side. But um, let's go ahead and use that over here. And then I can put all of the packs in there. So I'll put it that there. Alrighty, we're gonna move this off to the side. And we are looking for slot number three. And we're doing Pokedex number as the uh, compare card. We're looking for the lower po Pokedex number. So, these ETBs come with nine packs, so we're going to try and get through these nine packs quickly, so this video isn't too long, but say your prediction now, one through nine, which, uh, which pack do you think is going to win the compare card category? So, let's jump into number one. There is the code card for everybody. And one, two, three. Okay, Dedene 
and Denise is take a look. So the um, Pokedex number is always going to be in the information right up here, and it appears to be number 702. So higher Pokedex number for that one for sure. But let's go ahead and finish this pack and see what we got. We got Pineco, Scovillion, or however you say that, Breloom, Magikarp is the first reverse, and then Houndoom, and Arbulba with a Psychic Energy. And then what I like to do is then I can tuck those into that box, and there's Organize, right? Okay, let's get into pack number two. Got a little bit of dust there. There is the code card. And then one, two, three. Staravia's is 397. So Staravia is winning the pack battle at the moment. Let's go through the rest of this pack. Got Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, Bombardier, Silly Cobra is the first reverse. Then, oh, Bombardier again. And Revaroom with a fire energy on the bottom. Okay, so no major pulls yet, just regular hollow rares. Let's go into pack number three. Currently pack number two is winning. So if you chose that in the beginning, then congrats. You are, you're winning so far. So one, two, three, drowsies. Pokedex number is 96. That is part of the original 151 for sure. Drowsy is currently winning. So pack number three is currently winning. And then let's see the rest of this pack. We got uh, Nimona, Greedent, Crocodile, Toxel, Clauncher, and Dondozo, the fighting energy. So that's pack number three. Let's go to pack number four. So far, if you chose pack number three, you are winning the compare card. If you uh, open up a pack against this and you get a, a lower Pokedex number, then you would be winning. But let's go into the next one. Now, Floet has 670, so that's not going to win the compare card. But let's go and continue with this pack. Beach Court is, I think, going to be very useful in some decks coming up. And then Rotom, and then Maridon as the hollow rare. Alrighty, going into pack number five. With this ETB Elite Trainer box. Um, you know, some people ask, what does ETB stand for? And it's Elite Trainer box. So, one, two, three, Growlithe. Uh oh, Growlithe is number 58. That is lower than our 96. So pack number five is now in the lead. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's down to uh, 50, what did I see? 56 or 58? 58 for Growlithe. Alrighty. Boy, Growlithe's winning the pack battle right now. That's a ton of fun. Rocky Helmet, don't get hurt. Mischief. <laughs> For Coco and a slow bro. Now this, this is actually my my favorite artist. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce his name. I'm gonna say or her uh, Shinji Shinji Kondo maybe. I need to look that up. But I love the lines that are in that's in this artwork. The um, the outlines. It's a little bit cartoony, but it's just like stylistic. I love this style. So um, I'm actually gonna put that one up there for my collection so I can make sure that I it doesn't get lost in the mix while sorting. Uh, okay, and then getting into pack number six. Hope you guys are doing good today, having fun. Um, not sure exactly when this video will go up. Maybe it'll be a Friday, so hopefully your Friday's going well. And then one, two, three. Mastiff is one of the new ones, so I already know it's not going to be a higher... Pokedex number, but let's take a look. His Pokedex number is 942. His or her, it, I don't know. The, uh, depends on what you catch, right? I don't know if there's a, there's no gender on these cards. So, their number is 970, 942. Okay, Graveyard, K 
Katie. The uh, lots of good uh, lots of good ideas for having fun little Pokemon and their different uh, types and how they identify. So Credence, Nimona, and then Indeedee. Of course, it really comes down to how you like to uh, play the game, play the cards, how you identify all of these Pokemon. So let me know down below. What, uh, I guess at the end of the day, Mastiff is a good boy or a good girl. They're a good doggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll leave it at that. Okay, uh, number seven. I'm getting to pack number seven. And code card for everybody. And one, two, three. And that is a trainer, so they lose. Our <laughs> pack number seven doesn't get to actually compare. Growlithe is still in the lead. There's our evolutions, our stage ones for some fun stuff. Spiritomb, Fido, Ralts, and there we go. There's one of the first, um, what is this? This will be a double rare. I'm still learning what the, the new uh, styles or the new names are, but I got Spidops EX. And let's go ahead and put that there. And we're gonna tuck these over here. And then let's get a sleeve for this guy. And I am, uh, I'm excited to announce the new, we have the new MVP section. Dum, da, da, dum. There's our MVP section. We're gonna um, see if that, uh, if that goes right. There we go. We got an MVP section now. A little bit of cat hair. Don't mind the cat hair. <laughs> and Spidops is gonna go up there right next to Blastoise because you know Blastoise is one of my Mark's Valuable Pokemon. So that's what the MVP section is, Mark's Valuable Pokemon. We got our first person there in pack number seven. So go into pack number eight. He's just chilling out there. I'm trying to figure out what, uh, what snacks and what drinks that we serve in the MVP section. I don't know. What do you guys uh, think below? Of course, you know, it's a uh, this is a play on the uh, VIP section of my good friend, Nate. So um, I figured it's Mark's Valuable Pokemon MVPs, right? Right now it's Blastoise and Spidops EX. Okay, one, two, three, another trainer. So pack number eight is not winning the compare card. We're still on the uh, Growlithe as the winner. Got Judge, Floatzel, got a Switch. Ooh, okay. And we're just having a Spidops box. So Spidops EX. This is the um, special illustration rare of Spidops EX. We got another entry. Oh, and a double hitter. Look at that. Bayonet EX. And this is the um, um, uh, what is it? Spe double rare, special rare, triple rare. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look up the, the different styles um, of which one it is. That one is another hitter. Oh, yeah, of course. We're opening ATB. Let's take a look at our reference book. Okay, so the new um, rarity should be at the beginning of the list. Let's take a look. Okay, so if it is um, double black, filled in, double rare. So this one is a double rare. If it is the kind of silver ultra rare, I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's do, yeah, there you go. So if it's a silver, it's an ultra rare. So Bayonet EX is going to be the ultra rare. And then we had a double gold for that one, which is the special illustration rare. So I got that. So yeah, those are the new names for the different pools and the rarities of them. So this one is more common than this one. And then, but this one is um, more common than the Spidops. So this one is the big hitter of the box, I think which is always good. Let me get some sleeves over here. And we'll sleeve it on up. I think we'll have that one as the special on top. So everybody into the MVP section. We're having a ton of fun today. Um, I guess you can see a little bit of the reflection there, but that's okay. I'll figure that out later. I'm still brand new, brand new MVP section. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last pack of the ETB. I don't know if we're going to get anything better than that, but let's take a look. All of the uh, fun stuff is 
probably transpired. There's the there. Let's see. We got one, two, and Wiglet. Wiglet's um, uh, Pokedex number is 960, so certainly higher. Looks like Growlithe won the pack battle. I um, actually don't remember which uh, number <laughs> pack that came from. However, maybe number five, four or five. Um, but the Growlithe pack is winning the pack battle. So if you chose that pack today, congratulations. But we are going to go through and we will see what we are ending on. Espathra, trying to say that correctly. Oh, Defiance Band. Sandile. So we got another alternate that is a illustration rare with one single gold. And then today we are going to be adding on Meowskareda. So last pack did have a hit. The fun Sandile in the sand. Poking his eyes out. Just having fun. Let's do a re recap of what's in our MVP section. We got Spidops EX, Spidops EX, um, Bennett EX and then Sandile Art. So those are a ton of fun. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for playing.